Let's go ahead and add a print button to a document using Foxit PDF. I have a document open here, and I'm going to navigate right to the very bottom of this document. And at the very bottom of the document, we're going to add the option for people using this particular file to print it. So let's go to the Form tab or ribbon across the top, and we have a variety of options here. And if you hover, they will tell you what the button will do. Now I'm working in a virtual environment. It takes a bit of time, and then we can say, to create an interactive button. So let's click OK, and your mouse will change. Notice how it is crosshairs. So I'm going to draw a box. Now when I draw a box, I get a couple of things. I get a sidebar that I can format on the right-hand side, and then I get a name and a label option at the bottom. So the name of the button is just going to be called print, and the label is print this document. Now I may have to size the file, or pardon me, the button, to make sure, notice, that I see all of that text. Now I'm going to go back within here and go to the properties, and that was a right click. Now the tooltip. Always recommend a tooltip. Click to print this file. And of course we do want it to be visible. Now the appearance. If you want, you can change the color. The fill color right now is this gray. And let's change the fill color to a lighter gray or a different color gray. The border color. I can change the border color. The font is automatic. And the type of font I'm going to change mine to Arial, and the text color I'm actually going to change to white. Now the position. If I had other buttons and I wanted to align things perfectly, I could be very specific and position it with this. Now under Options, do you want the label only? In that case you wouldn't see the button. What we want is we want the label on the top and the icon on the bottom. Now, the behavior is a push, or outline, or invert. I'm going to select push down. And what is the label? Print this document. Now, yes, I could choose a different icon. We're not going to. Now, under Actions, when the mouse goes down, what do I want to have happen? I have a variety of choices here. We're going to choose to execute a menu item, and we're going to add that. And then notice we get a list of menu items, and we can expand them and pick the different options. But for us, under the file and then the main panel, print is what we want. And then we're going to close that. Now when I click away, I do see the name across the top of the button, and it's called Print. And then I see the label, Print This Document, underneath. Now I'm going to go back on my tabs and just go to the hand. And notice when I move over, my button makes my mouse change. I now have a hand with a finger, and it says, Click to print this file. When I select, it pulls up the default printer. And I'm going to say OK. Now I'm going to cancel that printing. Don't need to print it. If this has been useful to you, make sure that you like and subscribe.